Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing this Tory Lanez and Rich the Kid new track, TikTok. It's literally just come out. I'm hot off the starting line with this one, so. So yeah, let's just jump into it now. I'm going to get breaking down the track, so let's get on it. So yeah, we're going to start off with this flute. Uh, the flute's got like a little bit of a portamento on it, so it bends as the uh, note changes. <laughs> Get that quantize. Use the shortcut on my keyboard to quantize it. There we go. Just need to make sure they're all perfect. There we go. I'm going to put the piano underneath it. Uh, let's get these piano notes correct. There we go, I think that's about right. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna do the 808. Now the clap, I'm gonna do the claps and the snare separately because I wanna mix them on individual tracks later on. Make all these the same. So I'm just going to use any old snare that, and then I'm going to change it later on, I think, just to get the perfect one. Uh, there's just a little kick that's underneath that's underneath the 808 that gives it a little bit more punch. I'm just going to make sure I get that under the 808 now, so don't forget. There we go. You might not be able to hear it, but just give it that extra little bit of punch. There we go. Hey. I'm gonna go and do the structure now and then I'm gonna go through my mixing process, what I did for this track. I just did the structure of the track, uh, it's all structured out now, all the mixing's done, so I'm just gonna go through a bit of my mixing. Again, simple stuff, but it's just stuff that might make you think about your productions a little bit more, especially with hip hop, because it's easy when you're a hip hop producer just to fill the space up, but you gotta realize artists need space for vocals, so sometimes the simpler the better. So yeah, first with the melody, with the main melody, actually, this was on Retro Machines. And this is what it sounded like before. And then I turned the glide on it and made sure it was so low. And then uh, gives that nice little glide sound. Can you hear the difference between that? And I add the glide. And then I just turned the reverb up a little bit. And then I just EQ'd it. Um, it was. I, need, I wanted it to stick out here about 1k because I wanted to leave the two. I wanted to leave the 2k alone because that's where a lot of the presence for the vocals are. So I boosted it at 1k. It's a little bit higher in the uh, frequency chart than the piano. Um, so I cut off all this space. This is for the vocals. Cut off all that low end because that was in the way. So it's just this here. 
And then the f for the piano, this was in complete grandeur. This is my favorite piano that I've got. And again, I didn't do anything to the sound, but again, I just boosted it at around 1K. Took all this off, took all that off. You don't need that space, you know? This is where your 808 and your kick lives. This is where your hi-hats and your snares and your vocal live. So this is the space for your synth. You can have your synth, you can have frequencies of your synth up here and down here, but you just gotta be careful. And I've noticed as I've been doing these remakes, a lot of the synths in these hip hop tracks, they're always in that middle range. You know, they never have, it's not very often you find synths in hip hop, which have a load of high frequencies and a load of low end. It just doesn't happen for some reason. So the 808, this is, again, my 808s, so I put them into Alchemy. If you watch the last video, you'll know that I put all my samples into Alchemy. Um, yeah, then I just, I didn't I didn't really do much to the 808. I just cut off, cut off a lot of the uh, top end, because obviously we don't need that. Cut off a little bit of the low end. I don't usually do that, but it sounded like my, it sounded like mine was a lot more bassy than the one in the original track. So I cut off a little bit of the low end. And then I side chained it with the kick drum. So I side chained it with. Side, side chain this with a uh, FabFilter Pro C, which if you watch my last videos, you'll know I always use FabFilter Pro C. So every time this kick drum hits, it'll just duck it. I did a super, super fast in and out side chain again, because you just wanted it to pop through. And this is a top kick, so this kick has barely any low end in it at all. You know, I didn't want, you don't want it to get in the way of the 808. <sighs> and then I'll show you what I did in battery with the kick. I just put, I turned the volume envelope on, this is usually off, I turned it on, I just turned the decay down a little bit, so uh, the kick isn't as long, if you hear it. So I just turned the decay down, so it's, so it's a short kick. Just a little pop, you know? So yeah, that was the kick and the 808. Again, not much to it. The snare, I just used a bit, I just used a bit crusher to compress the snare and the same with the clap, just a bit crusher to compress it and took off some of the low end there because we didn't need that. Um, the hi-hats took off most of the low end and uh, again I took off a little bit of the top end of the hi-hats as well because there was, a, there was quite a harsh frequency there that I didn't like so I took off a bit of the top end of the hats. I think these hi-hats were pretty accurate. And then this was the only sound that I didn't do anything to. Just a little open-ended hi-hat. That was it. Also with the snare, uh, I did end up changing the snare compared to the one that I did, compared to the one that I used in the air uh, when I was building the track up at the start. So I use this, uh, I use this snare here, and uh, I'll show you what it sounded like originally. So originally, it did sound quite a lot different. So this is what it sounded like originally. And then I cut it off a little bit, and I compressed it quite hard just to make it sound the one in the original track, because the original one's more like a knock, it's not really like a snare, but I didn't have a sample in my uh, drum kit to do it, so I just had to like kind of affect this one to get it similar. And then I pitched it up a little bit. Oh God. Then yeah, I pitched it up a little bit after that. Make it sound like that, right, turn it down. I'll show you with it without. And then with all the compression and everything and the filter. There we go. And that is it, that is the track. So 
so yeah that is it guys that is the track if you want to download it you can download it for free it'll be on my other youtube page lucas look beats uh, i'll put the link for the download in the description um yeah if you've got any requests for what songs you want me to break down next then let me know in the comments i'll be re i'll be replying to i'll be replying to all your comments in the comment section so i'll see you on the next one tomorrow peace